hello, it's Johnny from Eurogamer here, and this is Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, because if there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I like a good battle, but only if it's completely accurate, which is why in front of you, you've got this tableau of blue Neanderthals being tossed into the air by this team of, of antler-wearing guys who, I don't mind telling you, are called Bone Mages. That explains all of the bones erupting from the ground. Let's just all be grateful. It's me recording this Let's Play and not Ian, because I'm not sure he could uh, be trusted to say anything mature about Bone Mages. Anyway, this game's actually been around since 2016. It's in early access, but uh, it recently was brought to my attention uh, by, well, I mean, it just looks a bit bonkers, doesn't it? So I figured I'll show you... Um, what, what it is. It's got like a, a full campaign now. Basically it's kind of uh, recently it's, it's had like a big update so it's it's more advanced than it than it has been in previous iterations. I'll tell you what, so we'll start with, I've already, you can see, gone a little way through the introduction. Let's start at the very top just to show you what's going on. So, you start off with this uh, this battlefield. You've got the enemy side. They are blue. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six clubmen here. And I've got 600 points to spend. Clubbers cost 60. So, as you can probably guess, because maths, I can spam out 10 of them. Um, so the points value, uh, you can sort of see here, it's sort of meant to like simulate matched play in, I guess, like tabletop games, where you've got units and each have a point cost, and then you sort of smash them into one another. But I don't really know why I'm banging on about that sort of thing, because that's all boring detail when the game itself runs like this. <laughs> I lost, despite having a numbers advantage. You can see here the little X's on my last dude's head. Uh, I lost. I actually lost that fight. So, okay, let's try a different tactic. They're a bit more expensive, but let's have three spear throwers, and then we'll fill the rest with... Ooh, only four clubbers. That's going to get interesting. We could stick down some protectors. You'll see those in a minute, but to be honest, they just want waddle up to people with shields and bash them with them. They don't do a very good job of protecting their own units, as far as I'm concerned. So we'll try this. Oh god, our spearmen are advancing as well. No, but there we go. That's a bit better. Come on, spearmen, do your jobs. Great. Perfect. That was easy. The clubmen all, wait for it, clubbed together there. Really, really loving this one spearman who just pitched a spear into the back of an already dead man. But there we go. As you can see, this game, kind of nonsense. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Ten spearmen. And I can't afford 10 spearmen, which makes me think we should overwhelm them with sheer numbers. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. This might not work, but let's see how we do. It's very much a game of experimentation. Oh, crap. Oh, this isn't going well at all. Break the lines. Oh, okay. So we're looking fine on this side. That side was a rout. Come on, lads. Oh, rubbish. Okay. So let's clear that. It's all very quick and easy and simple and um, daft in case you hadn't already twigged. Let's get some protectors in here and then we'll fill out the lines like that and see what happens. There we go. That's a I was going to say that's better, but it's not. Oh, crap. Come on, Protector. Oh, <laughs> the Protector's got his foot stuck in my clubman. Oops. So, yeah, it's just basically a charming battle simulator, but... <laughs> if the googly eyes didn't tip you off, it's a bit bloody daft. Let's push on. Okay, what have we got now? So, eight clubmen, two stoners, I think they're called, and those are bone mages. 
uh, that I mentioned earlier. So, 1,400 points. Let's get some of those guys down. I'm going to have two protectors, now make it three. And the rest will just spam in clubmen. And then we'll see how that works. Oofed! Come on, gotta take out the other bone mage. Gotta say, the spearmen are pretty cash about doing their jobs. But I think we've got this. There we go. There we go. The prote <laughs> I love how it makes a little tableau at the end. It's just brilliant. Okay, what have we got here? That's a lot of dudes and a lot of protectors. But we've unlocked a stoner and a bone mage. So, I reckon, give it a bit of that. Spear throwers? Nah, let's just get some protectors down here. Protect the bone mages. And then clubmen there. To be honest, I'm trying to think about this strategically and match sort of units against units. But as you've seen from when I had a sheer weight of numbers, nearly twice the number of my enemy doesn't always work out that way so there's definitely I mean one of them's dead already oh no he's just fallen through the map never mind oh this is going horribly come on bone mage do a job do a job mate no come on yeah okay so we got that guy alive and then I think it's just this one dude who clipped into the map. <laughs> That's just cruel. <laughs> I mean, that's a screenshot, isn't it? <laughs> God. Oh, who? So we seem to have advanced in terms of our map. Um, what have we got now? Oh, look! The kind of... Oops. Ah, excuse me. Dudes with pitchforks. It's a bit of fun. Let us... So we've got a bit of a bottleneck here. Which we could try and sort. Oh, we can't afford the mammoth. Okay, fine. Tell you what. Let's absolutely jam up this bridge with protectors and clubbers and then we shall have a bone mage can we afford a stoner? no, I sod it have another protector well, I don't know if this is going to work let's see oh bloody hell what are they? <laughs> Oh no, this is terrible. Terrible. Utterly awful. Yeah, that did not work, did it? Dudes with pitchforks. Bloody hell. Right, we'll clear that. Now, what can we do? We can afford a chieftain, so let's see what he does. He's got stone axes. And then... We need... We need bloody... Artillery, don't we? Oh, God. Ah, this is never going to work. Ah, let's give it a go. I don't think the Chieftain's a good choice here. We need weight of numbers. Because, look, as soon as these guys get involved... <sighs> throw properly, you... Idiots. Oh! Oh! Okay, well, what did we learn? Turns out, sometimes all you need are three lads with rocks. Thanks for nothing, this guy is absolutely useless. Okay, what have we got now? These are some bales of hay. Oh, look, these are... So they were like halflings and farmers. These are hay balers. They're from a different faction. Because you've got sort of a medieval one here with like the king and bards and squires. 
uh, hoplite, so that would own oh, a minotaur and zoo, so that's the Greek uh, Vikings, and then it looks like ninjas are coming soon. Pirates are coming soon, and I don't know what the um, the pike will be. Anyway, we'll stick with uh, what we know. Should we? Oh, I still can't afford a mammoth. Damn it. Okay, so what worked well last time? Stoners were good. Sort of. Spear throwers. Oh, okay, they did do their jobs after all. We we'll get some protectors in there because we can afford them now. A few clubbers. Couple of. Yeah. Get some of them in there. I'll be honest with you, I wanted to show this off because I think it's bloody daft, but I'm getting quite into it. It's still the tutorial. And. Oh, sod it. One more clubber. If I can fit him in. One clubber that just lives there now. Fine. Oh. Oh, they. Oh, no. Those are potion. somethings. <laughs> Oh, that's dreadful. Oh, it's a bloody massacre. Oh, and the hay bales can take loads of punishment because they're really well padded. Oh, God. It's down to you, one dude with a rock. Oh, and that guy. These guys are jerks. Right. That was terrible. Who were they? Potion sellers. <laughs> okay. Clear that. What do we need? They were miles away, but they were still making that count. This feels like... I wonder if we can just put spear throwers down here. On the flanks. We want to be spread out a bit, don't we? Let's try for a bone. Oh, great. The game's minimized. There we go. Bone mage. Clubbers? I don't really know. Let's just spam, spam out bloody loads of them. And just hope for the best. Come on, Bone Mage. That's better. Oh, no. They're all obsessed with the bridge. But to be fair, we've done a much better job of taking out the hay balers. We've not lost many. It's just a matter of whether we can actually take these guys out or not. Being poisoned. Yeah, we got this. The physics is just hilarious. <laughs> oh, it's daft. Okay, right. So we've overcome that obstacle. Bit of a bottleneck here. They've got the high ground. And that's a lot of hay balers. And a lot of those lads. We can afford a mammoth. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? You know what? A mammoth and a bone mage, and I reckon they got this. Come on! <laughs> yeah, don't even worry about it. Look at this dynamic team. That's a screenshot, isn't it? <laughs> This is so weird. Okay. So these are harvesters and more bloody potion sellers. Okay. And we got another 3,200. I reckon with these lads... You know what? I just think actually the bone mages are worth their weight in gold. These guys are good for fodder. We'll have some protectors again. Do I want stoners? No. Spear throwers, they'll work well, hopefully, for dealing with the 
lad. Um, chieftain? Uh, don't really know what the chieftain was. You know what? We'll stick a chieftain in just because I, I don't think they were doing great work before. One more bone mage because I really like them. And we've got 40 points left over. Let's see. Oh no! Hidden, hidden dudes! Hidden halflings! <laughs> oh, that's just not fair. I didn't realise. My fault for not scouting the battlefield, I guess. But I think we got this. Yeah. Oops. Oofed. Yeah, go on, Chief. Look at him there. Proud. Handsome. <laughs> Noble. <laughs> oh, those hidden halflings, they were annoying. Guess it pays to scout out the battlefield, but uh, oh, never mind. These were in fact. Uh, are these knights, or would they be squires? I'd say they look a lot like knights to me. Okay. Oh, but we get to move up. Okay, so we get. Right. This is exciting. Wheelbarrow. That's expensive. Harvesters are expensive. Right. I hate potion sellers. They are great. Hay balers are quite good, but very expensive. Halflings. And I have one more halfling. Oh, that's not gonna be enough, is it? I've over I've over oversold on uh, potion sellers. Let's get some more farmers down. Yeah, that looks more like it. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Uh, nope. That's not going to cut the mustard, is it? Maybe overpromised on the old potion sellers. Let's face it. I mean, the clue was probably in the fact that every single one of my enemies had a massive sword. We'll try again. Wheel about a scarecrow. Oh, cool. I mean, this is probably not wise strategically, but I'm going to do it because they look badass. One halfling. Good. Oh, God. Come on, come on, Scarecrow. Cheese it. Mm, no, that was, yeah. Can't say I didn't see that coming, but I just wanted to see. <laughs> oh, he's like, I regret my life choices. I just wanted to see what it could do. Oh, dear. It's... <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh no, right. Hey Baylors. Big front line. <laughs> Big front line. Yeah, get up. Get up. Hey Baylors, they were good. Harvesters. Let's try one. And then. I mean, that's still not. Oh god, we're still massively outnumbered, but oh well. Let's give this a go. Come on. Oh, God. Okay. Go on. Go on, get stuck. Yes! Absolutely brilliant. Look at you there. Not even breaking a sweat. Rolling your eyes. Like, mm, boring. While well, absolutely smashing a knight. I mean, that's a screenshot. <laughs> this game's so daft. But it does make for some good moments. Right, what are these? What on... Oh, bards! Bards. Um, okay, archers. Bards and archers. Okay. How do we deal with this? What's a wheelbarrow do? Tempted to find out, but for a thousand points, it's quite a lot. Right, the harvesters were great. I have two of those. 
You know what? We will have a couple of potion sellers. Oh, bloody hell again. That's that's not enough. Nah, look at that. Look at all that. Altit we need hay balers for this, don't we? Because they can actually sustain some damage. Yeah, well done, potion seller. You were mumping useless there, and you got what you deserved. Okay, we'll clear that. Hay balers. Two, three, four, five. That looks better already, doesn't it? We'll sack off the potion sellers entirely. You know what? Halflings are hard to hit, aren't they? Let's try that. If this doesn't work, we'll play around with the wheelbarrow and see what that does. There we go. Range means nothing when there isn't any. Stop chasing the bards! There we go. Yes! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, lads, lads, be careful, <laughs> be careful. <laughs> we drove, we drove them into the sea. <laughs> it's a bard. This just drowned. <laughs> oh, I don't care what anyone says. This is great. This is a very valuable use of my time. Okay, so we got a catapult, that's a worry, isn't it? And then knights. Okay, so this is going to be another weight of numbers thing. 3,000 points. I mean, I am going to stick a scarecrow down because I think they're hilarious. And then we are going to make two different flanks because they can't aim at both at the same time. This one is going to have halflings in it. Hmm. Yeah, that looks terrible. Let's go with that. Yep. Okay. Well, actually, no, there we go. Look. No infantry. Wow. It was a piece of piss. And I think the killing blow was uh, was scored by a crow, sacrificing itself so that others may live. Hmm. Huh. Piece of cake. Hello. What are you? You look suspiciously like priests? Yes, priests. And that's a king! The king is here. Fine. I'll tell you what the king hates. Scarecrows. Especially when there's two of them. And you know what? Let's try two scarecrows and a bloody metric ton of halflings. Oh, I don't like whatever these priests are doing. They're buffing the king! Stop attacking the king! My brave halflings! Attack the priests! Ah, oh, daft. Okay, now we're getting into it. Come on, halflings. Come on, lads. <laughs> They're even wearing little jackets. Oh, buddy. <laughs> yep, that's a screenshot. Getting the selfie. That's amazing. Oof. I mean, many halflings gave their lives for that one, didn't they? But oh well. Right. Ooh, this is lovely. <gasps> and we've moved up. We've got squires and archers and priests and catapults and the king now. Right. And we are up against the Greeks, whom I fear, even when bring gifts, etc., etc. What have they got? They've got shield bearers and are those hoplites. Oh, Sarissa. Okay. You know what? I wonder if we can afford... Hmm. That's foolish. Because they've got relatively long flanks. But we can afford two catapults. <laughs> Let's just see if this works. Why not? We're not made of wood. I mean, the catapults are. Oh, no. This is terrible. Ooh, that said... Okay, if they close this distance before they die, then it's over. 
<laughs> Tell you what, lads, your first mistake was just advancing calmly on an artillery line. <laughs> Pick up to these guys, who probably have dislocated shoulders. I mean, that one ought to be dead, let's face it. God, turns out warfare's easy. I should, I should have been a general. Right, let's try something else. Knights, they were pretty... St Knights are really expensive. No wonder I was having a hard time. Squires, they're cheap and expendable, aren't they? We've got some archers. I mean, let's have a bard apiece, because we're not animals. And then... Uh, what should we... Ah, sod it, let's have a priest. Just for a bit of fun. And uh, one more bard. Yeah, there we go. This will probably not go well, but... Yeah, no, I regret this. Oh, the bards just... They aggro the enemy. Oh, that's quite useful. Sort of distracts them so you can keep more useful units alive. Like these archers, who are doing nothing. Oh, they were squires before, were they? Okay. Yes, finally. Good. While well, the priest just watches on. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. Perfect. Great. My unstoppable march towards military greatness continues apace. That looks like a ballista? A ballista. Okay. Well, let's fight firepower with firepower, I guess. Let's try and just start off with that in range. Why wouldn't we put that right up the front? And then... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one bard to lead the charge. This is going to go terribly. Oh, meh. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's not, let's not mess around with the ballista, eh? Oh, lads, attack the siege weapons. They're going to fire first. Oh, thank God for that bard, if this lands. Perfect, I'm the world's greatest military tactician. Eat that. Brilliant. Minotaur? Uh-oh. Oh no. You're not supposed to be here. I mean you are quite cute. They look really uncertain with their little little hooves together. Oops. You're meant to be in a labyrinth though. Okay. If I were facing an actual minotaur, what would I want? Archers, I think. Lots of them. And then loads of squires. See how this does. Oh no. Oh, they're really quick. Oh my god. Oh, of course, because bulls can charge. Okay, no archers. Archers were a terrible plan. <laughs> oh, we got one down, actually. Oh, brilliant. I knew archers were a brilliant plan. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, look quite bad, actually. I mean, I'm still going to screenshot it, but. <laughs> Ooh, I see. <gasps> Vikings. Right, and we're the Greeks. And we can afford Zeus, so it feels rude not to. Snake archers. Uh, yes, please. And we'll have one shield bearer. Snake archers. Oh, Zeus looks cold. That or impatient to start killing. I don't know. <laughs> Oh no! <gasps> Ice archers! Oh god! Oh no! Oh, they mu they murdered Zeus. Right, I wasn't anticipating that we were gonna be up against ice archers. Yeah. Okay. Fine. In that case, we just need numbers, don't we? Oh, the temptation to have a minotaur is pretty great, though. Right. Cheap and expendable. That's the way. And then 
three. Yes, yeah, sod it. Can't shoot us all. Wow, lads. Oh, there we go. We did actually lose a snake. <laughs> well, that was easy. Ish. So there is kind of a tactical element to it. We're just like, oh no, they look. They, what are they? Oh, it's probably a berserker, isn't it? There is a vaguely tactical element. And I stress the vaguely bit. I mean, a Zeus, a Minotaur, and some snake archers. Why not? Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Might actually come down to the wire this. Come on, Zeus. Come on, Zeus. Where are you trying to hit? Oh, the Berserker. Oh, he's got quite a lot of health, hasn't he? Yeah, no, Zeus is going to buy the farm. Zeus? Zeus? Nah, Zeus has copped it. Okay, we're going to stop messing around with Zeus now. Okay. I mean, a Ballista would probably go quite well. And then shield bearers are probably quite useful. We'll have... Big old line of those lads. Maybe some hoplites. Sod it. When in doubt, try and build a horde army. Oh. Well, no, it's going better. It's just those berserkers. Right, as long as these guys can keep this one dude tied up until the list is ready. Yeah! Have that. Not berserk anymore, you're just dead. This is lovely and daft. It's like every level's a little joke that he gets to play, especially when you, you see a unit you've not seen before. Um, and these berserkers are just oofed. They're horrible. Right, two ballistas this time. <coughs> Excuse me. Another line of shield bearers. Double line of hoplites. And a few of these lads just to use up my points. Yeah, that's more like it ish. Oh, those ice archers though. Okay. Yeah, we got this. We. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. Oh, long ships. Right. Let's deal with the long ships and see see where where they get us. I think we'll slap down a Zeus here, won't we? And we'll protect Zeus. <laughs> Give it more hoplites. We have one Sarissa. Cause sure. <laughs> oh. I mean I was oh no! Is the game gonna crash? <gasps> oh no. Oh please don't lose my capture. Oh no. Okay, I've saved the recording. Well, you know what? I feel like that's probably a good time to end this, because I'm no longer capturing. Um, and I, hopefully I gave you a good idea of what Totally Accurate Battle Simulator is. It is daft. There is also a sandbox mode, so you can sort of set up your own battles and just see what happens. Like, I pit one Zeus against eight Viking longships earlier, and uh, he won. So, well done to Zeus. Um... I mean, technically meant to be Father of All the Gods, so not that surprising. But yeah, um, 
that was bizarre. Um, thank you very much for sticking with me through it while I sort of giggled my way through some men with googly eyes launching themselves at one another. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, there are loads more from Eurogamer for you to watch, so click one of those now. Uh, do like, subscribe, and ring the bell icon so you don't miss anything else from Eurogamer, but most importantly, thank you very much for watching, and have a lovely day.